Hi, I'm Marlo from Wild Food UK, out foraging again. It's the 9th of October today and it's a beautiful autumn day. And we're in a, a lovely little copse of beech trees. There's a lovely big beech tree right here. And around on the ground, we've got this giant big fallen bough of beech and some white mushrooms you might be able to pick up in the distance over there and then a load more beech on the floor over here and on it we've got a couple of mushrooms so first of all we've got some oyster mushrooms always nice to see these I've done another video on our oyster mushrooms these look like faded greys to me they're very mature though that's not what this video is about though this video is about this lovely white mushroom here some little babies down there slightly more mature ones here these ones have obviously been munched a little bit and then up on top if you come up here you'll see this more mature one here and I don't know if you can quite catch it on the camera but there's a little ring on the stem skirt on the stem this one's got a little tiny baby growing with it and uh, you can see from the cap if I just show you with my finger you've got quite a lot of slimy mucus on this beautiful cap which just shimmers in the sunshine let's see if i can get that shimmering for you because there's a beautiful bit of sunshine on it right now now there really isn't any other mushroom that looks like this this is porcelain fungus udamanciella mucida and uh, i think the mucida refers to the mucus that you get on the cap so there's our porcelain fungus it's not a large mushroom they get a little bit bigger than this probably 10 centimeters in diameter would be a very large specimen and again the cap will get to about or sorry the stem will get to about 10 centimeters long on the bigger ones they always even when they're coming out from underneath a tree I don't know if you can uh, get up and just follow me over here Like these ones here, um, even when they're coming out from underneath the tree, the stem will curve round so that the cap is always gills down. And again, you've got some more beautiful mushrooms there. Now they are absolutely beautiful for photographs. They are actually really tasty as well. They're one of my favorite mushrooms, but with this mushroom, you've got a little bit of extra preparation to do. I don't normally recommend washing mushrooms because they're porous, they soak in the water and that can dilute the flavor. And also if you're trying to fry them, it means you end up with lots of water in the pan, which you don't want. Um, with this mushroom though, I break that rule. That slime is not something that I want to cook with unless I'm making soup it kind of helps with that so this is a mushroom that I do actually get home and wash probably with a, a sponge pad mainly on the cap just to to get rid of all that mucus that you can see I've got all over my hands now because of that I also never put these mushrooms in my linen foraging bag these get saved for a, a carrier bag or something plastic where you're not going to get mucus all over what you're carrying it in anyway once you've got past that you do have a really tasty mushroom and you also have a really safe mushroom growing out the side of beech trees I'm pretty sure it's exclusive to beech you might mushrooms don't read the same books as us so you might find it on a different tree at some point but uh, it's pretty much exclusive to beech um, and there is nothing else in the UK that grows on beech with this mucus cap beautiful white all over skirt on the stem which you can see is a very delicate one I've almost brushed it off just by holding it white gills and uh, yeah if you've got all those different characteristics there is nothing else that you can have apart from porcelain fungus gets the name because it looks like a beautiful shiny bit of porcelain anyway if you want to find out more go to www.wildfooduk.com